Hi, Ep. Hello. Hi. Hello, Ep. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ep. Hello, Ep. Hello, Ep. My name is Carrie Zarina. I'm Santiago. It's Santiago. Carrie Salvador. Missing Simon. Here is. Sophia Villasquez. Duo Chacha Pierre Meneses. Prof. Alde Taladro. Cassie Burwell. I'm Cecilia. We are from Team Jack. The main function of vacuoles is to hold various substances and molecules. They basically act like the storage unit of the cell. There are some key vacuole functions, many of which relate to storing materials that the cell will need later on or which can damage the cell and therefore need to be removed. Remove and store waste produced during autophagy. Remove and store harmful foreign products so they don't damage the cell. Store water and store nutrients such as lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates. The cafeteria functions as a vacuole on the campus because this is where the various foods and beverages are kept. Additionally, there are trash cans with labels for students to put their waste in, which will be removed soon by the canteen personnel. Cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a gel-like fluid inside the cell. It is the medium for chemical reactions. It provides a platform upon which other organelles can operate within the cell. The cytoplasm is comparable to the hallway and classrooms of the campus in which everyone travels. It represents the air in the hallways and classrooms for it fills the gap within each space. Vesicles are fluid or gas that is surrounded or enclosed by lipid bilayer. Transport vesicles are responsible for the movement of proteins between organelles within the cytoplasm and outside the cell. They deliver proteins to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus traffics, process, and sort of secretory proteins and lipids. The Golgi apparatus packages secretory vesicles for release outside the cell. Secretory vesicles are crucial for the movement of molecules outside the cell, just like these tricycles and manong drivers. They transport students within and outside the campus. Nuclear membrane. It acts as barrier that separates the content of nucleus from the cytoplasm. The dean's office represents the nucleus. The building that surrounds the dean's office is comparable to how the nuclear membrane works inside the cell. Representing our plasma membrane, the school security and wall acts as the plasma membrane which separates the interior from the outside environment. It can also be called as the cell membrane. It allows certain molecules to pass through them more easily than others. Just like our security guards allow the students and staff to go inside our school easily, they also escort out people who are troublesome. Just like our plasma membrane also transport toxic substances out. Mitochondrion is an organelle within eukaryotic cells that produce adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, the main energy molecule used by the cell. For this reason, the mitochondrion is sometimes referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. As a representation of this organelle, I present to you power lines which produces electricity that gives energy to the whole school. The endoplasmic reticulum is like a hallway because it is a passageway for proteins to move in and out of the cell, just as the hallways. It's a passage to move around in the room. Ribosomes are micro-machines for making important proteins. Ribosomes are like teacher in a university. They absorb information from different sources, then create knowledge that they share to students. Because of that knowledge, we can consider that teachers are producing new students, and that students can be considered as the important protein produced by ribosomes. The primary function of the nucleus are to store the cell's DNA, maintain its integrity, and facilitate its transcription and replication. An example in this university are the school deans and the president because they control the decisions they implement for the school the same way the nucleus controls the cells. Lysosome is responsible for breaking down excess and worn out cell parts. It involves degradation and recycling of cellular waste, just like this garbage bin. It gets rid of waste, keeping the garbage in one place, and help prevent hazard and will result in a neat and tidy university campus.